Hey, this is Ree here. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It's been really helping me a lot. And don't forget to check out my website, paradoxastrology.com. I can help you with anything. And if you would like more exclusive occult videos that I don't post on YouTube and would like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. Okay, let's get into this video. So this is about the new moon in the nakshatra Mikshira, which is in Gemini, what that will mean for you and the world. So Mikshira is ruled by Mars. So that will play a big theme in what we're seeing today. Now, the symbol is the deer. And what the deer does is it's constantly wandering, constantly searching. The path that it goes on is very unpredictable. It can also be very fragile, very timid. This is the nakshatra where curiosity is born. This is the first nakshatra where Mars is born. So this is where the first actions are taken. So because this is where Mars is initiated into life, this represents heat. And this is where heat and motion are created. Now, when we think of heat, we can think of fires. And I do see that the fires that are happening sense Critica moon because Critica is that spark. And this actually will continue this, unfortunately. And with Mars being in detriment in the second house, this could show us that this could affect families. This could affect being in cancer as well, could affect homes of families, their security, their possessions, their finance as well. This could also have to do not just with the fires, but in other aspects of life. So that is something to be cautious of. The second house, when we talk about mundane astrology, is the welfare of the nation, the revenue, the financial wealth, and the economic matters of the nation. So having this in detriment and Venus and the moon not being compatible in that way, we could definitely see some more matters to do with finance and particularly with companies. This could also affect real estate. Venus is also there, as I mentioned, which is the ruler of the 12th house and the ruler of the fifth, which has to do with dealing with children, dealing with education and losses or expenditures. So there could be matters affecting these sorts of things or there's action towards changing and dissolving certain aspects of these matters. Jupiter is the Karaka of the second house, which will be in the 11th house with Rahu, aspected by Saturn, which will turn retrograde that day and could indicate some new litigation dealing with publicly traded companies. But some could gain a lot from these new implementations because the 11th house is the house of gain and Rahu can bring some unexpected gains there. Now, as I read more of this, you're going to understand that this could actually be very good for a lot of people receiving unexpected gains and fulfilling their purpose. Brahma, the creator of the Trinity, became obsessed with his own daughter, Rohini. But remember, Brahma is the creator of all, right? So everybody is his children. So it, it doesn't have to do with incest or anything like that, just so you know. So he was chasing Rohini and Rohini was in the form of a deer. And then Shiva, the destroyer, cut off the deer's head with an arrow and sent the deer's head to Mikshira. So that's where the symbolism of the deer comes from. So that is one of the reasons why Mikshira is associated with problems in married life through illusion, undue suspicion, or plain misunderstandings. So with having Mars and Venus in the second house, a family couple should be aware of arguments and misunderstandings due to things that they perceive that may not be true. This could even lead to maybe jealousy perhaps or some form of possessiveness because the other partner is acting unpredictable and wants to maybe go off and do their own thing and you're perceiving it in the wrong way. So it could also be a lack of attentiveness towards a partner or a family member or maybe financial matters or business partnerships as well. So just be cautious of those things. The best thing for the solution is to have attentiveness and understanding during this time because this nakshatra has the ability to bring you something very stable, especially with Saturn going retrograde. This could actually be stability in your career, stability in a long-term relationship. This nakshatra has the ability to have that great relationship. So you always have to work on these things and not to get 
get caught up in your own ego or the illusions. It's also represented by a pot of soma. And soma is the drink of the gods, the gods elixir, but it's also an intoxicant. It's related to the moon, which represents all types of fluids on earth. That could be even in the astral plane. It's essential life force. So a lot of these things that were popping up about beverage companies dealing with such will continue and they will be searching for new ways of doing things in order to avoid potential losses or misunderstandings. Ancient seers saw this nakshatra as the primordial shakti energy so it encompasses all the energy of the goddesses so there's a lot of divine female energy within this so that will bring up a lot of different topics related to that and remember that some are fierce and very fierce goddesses so there could be some that were acting out in order to protect others as well because the fierceness comes from a sense of wanting to protect like goddess Kali especially children because of its relation to the moon there could be some themes of cheating and affairs with other people's wives because the story of mercury mercury was birthed from the moon and jupiter's wife tara so there could be not just the illusion of cheating but the more extreme end that it does occur but that's why you have to distinguish what is from what isn't it also has a lot to do with searching for a new partner, but this nakshatra has to do with romance as well. New experiences, searching for new knowledge, anything to stimulate the body and the mind. So during this time, this may allow you to actually find your purpose, your destiny, your life path, the thing you've been searching for the most. On the lower level, it can keep you searching from one experience to the next or moving from one partner to the next, never being satisfied. So it's very important to not be in your ego during this time because you could end up like a dog chasing its tail and never getting anywhere or you could be chasing an illusion because the representation of this is also the mirage so you may see something from a distance it may look perfect to you you may even disregard what you already have in order to pursue this thing but once you get there you'll realize it wasn't what you thought it was this could also mean being catfish so always use your gut instinct this is where conclusions are drawn based on experience. So now you will be able to, for the things you were searching for, you're gonna be able to draw these conclusions and implement something. Remember, this is a new moon, so this is something new coming up. This nakshatra relates to the pranana shakti, which is the power to give fulfillment. So it's another reason why a lot of you will be finding the things that fulfill you during this time that you have been searching for. And like I said, that could be career and partner. This pada is mostly about exploring the mental aspects of relationships. So there's more of a focus on feeling fulfilled due to the communication rather than the material but the material does have a lot of potential with saturn going retrograde the professions that this will affect is singers musicians poets romantic novelists writers thinkers anyone that seeks anything anyone who is maybe even a traveler textile garment industry fashion designers trendsetters Maybe new trends will pop up during this time. Any professions dealing with animals and pets, all kinds of salespeople, advertising agencies, seeking new ways because the old ways were not working for them. Administrators, landscapers, forestry. This is a lot to do with forests and fields. And that's why I can see this having a lot to do with the forest fires as well. Real estate developers, psychics, astrologers, and anything dealing with new beginnings. It also represents villages and small towns. I think people in villages and small towns near the forest fires should be aware and cautious of having to leave their homes because of the fires. Now, when it comes to the aspects, because this is a farmer's cast, I would caution farmers because Mercury is in the 12th house in Rohini. Rohini is represented by the ox cart, which delivers everything that has to do with the harvest. And there could be some potential losses that have to do with the harvest. It could create expenditures with Mars and detriment. Also remember Mars is in Ashlesha, which can show us what we're clinging on to that may be unhealthy for us. 
as well. Maybe it can create crops that are unhealthy. We also have Saturn, which will go retrograde aspecting Rahu and Jupiter. So there still is that aspect of financial loss that can occur for some. There is that aspect of, of poisons or litigation that could be stopping farmers to be able to produce the crops that they want to produce. Remember, Rohini also represents bankers, financiers, transportation business, tourism industry, automobile industry, oil, petroleum, textile, shipping, food production, products, liquids. People could be searching for new ways to do these things while the old ways die out. Maybe now they're going more overseas. They have more uh, foreign trade. This is good for foreign trade. This is good for overseas travel and things of that nature. Maybe you're searching more for distributors overseas. That could be great for you. For others who are not searching for that, this could actually lead to some losses and some endings. So like I said, Mars in the second house with Venus in detriment, causing some issues with the financial industry. We have Rahu in the 11th house with Jupiter. Remember, the 11th house is the parliament legislation, legislative members, business groups, and Jupiter being the judge, the court system, and Rahu can unexpected things or things happening out of nowhere but also can be greed right there could be some gaining because of greed or because of chemicals because of new technologies that may not some could be actually very good technologies but some could be to the detriment of the population so we have to be careful and have that discernment Jupiter is also religious gurus. There could be gurus that maybe don't have the highest integrity, or there could be some that are unconventional that pop up during this time and reach a height or a low of their career. Saturn will be in the ninth house and it will turn retrograde. The ninth house relates to law, judgment, religious matters, education, immigration, and the justice of the country. I have a whole other video that I'll do about the Saturn retrograde, but just remember Saturn is your career. Saturn is your karma. So a lot of people are going to be receiving the karma as it goes in retrograde in Shavahista, which has to do with health. It has to do with the stars as well. And so some will hit brand new heights that they have never hit before during this time, but others can see their downfall related to the karma of this life and the karma of last. Saturn is also aspecting Scorpio in the sixth house, which is ruled by Mars and Mars is in detriment. It can create debt matters concerning employment, labor laws, and diving deeper into matters of public health. A lot will be exposed about the public health industry because it relates to the 100 physicians or the 100 medicines or possessing 100 healers. There could also be a stage alien invasion during the Saturn retrograde just because of its alternative name, which is Possessing 100 Stars. It's also bringing up new movies about aliens, you know, new sighting, sightings, new everything. So we have to be very cautious of what people are saying. Not that there isn't life besides us, there is, but a lot of these things are staged in order to control the population. So we have to be very aware of that. Saturn referring to the judge and the judgments going retrograde, hitting the 11th house. There could be some judgments about in parliament that have to do with new things that are passed into law. We'll see what happens there. And also we have the ruler of the second house, which is the moon, and the ruler of the third house, which is the sun in the first house. And leaders will communicate that they're searching for new ways to fix the financial issues. And this could also involve the court systems. So we'll probably see more financial issues and maybe some litigation, some people suing based on these things that are occurring in the financial industry. So I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.